The year 1990 was one of the most awaited years of the century. As everyone was planning to make the last decade of the century worth lifelong memories, R&B singers jumped in with their extreme level of creativity. By the 90s, they proved that the last decade of the century would be excellent and the most significant in the entire genre. Welcome to Major Key Unlimited. What R&B in 1990 looked like? This video will talk about some of the shining R&B events that made the year 1990 worth living. Make sure to watch till the end. All the Man That I Need was actually written in 1981, but the many versions of it by different singers failed to give it the connection needed by Arista Records. After receiving a demo from Whitney Houston of this song, the producers were shocked by the incredible result and picked Whitney. Notable, many professional singers tried to give their demo on the song, but after receiving a demo from Whitney, the producers had no doubt about its success. And then, producers were 100% right. The breathtaking voice of Whitney managed to fly its wings all over the world and hit the US Billboard Hot 100 by grabbing the number one spot. Guessing by the name, Tony Tony Tone were originated as a joke, but after achieving great success worldwide, they believed unique luck goes with this mocking title. When was the last time a band of family members managed to grab a gold award? In 1990, after releasing their song, Whatever You Want, from the second album, The Revival, their success rose to another level. It climbed to the number one spot on the US R&B chart and grabbed the number 48 spot in the US Billboard Hot 100. This was also their first single that did not include the lead single, Raphael. The song initiated a wave of creative remixes from Ludacris with his Splash Waterfalls to Kelly Price with Soul of a Woman. Although the group disbanded in 1997, their songs remain in our hearts even today. A daughter of an opera singer, Mariah already began singing at the age of three. However, as sweet as it sounds, life was waiting to give challenging moments. Due to the rise in racial discrimination, her family's car was burned by the neighbors. A few years later, her parents divorced, forcing her mother to do several jobs to run the family. After moving to New York City to pursue her music career, Mariah used to do part-time jobs just to pay the rent. Her life took a massive turn when in December of 1988, when she managed to hand over a demo tape to Columbia Records. The modern day Cinderella story, the executive of Columbia Records searched for Mariah for two straight weeks. Mariah was given the opportunity to launch her debut album and skyrocketed her fame with Vision of Love in 1990. The song was so famous that it jumped on the number one spot in singles of top charts in Canada, New Zealand, and the United States and stayed there for four straight weeks. So these were some of the great R&B moments in the 1990s that should be remembered forever for their contribution to keeping the R&B culture alive. These moments have also marked a turning point for the future generation to keep the R&B spirit alive. But what do you think? Who was the most remarkable R&B artist in 1990? Let us know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you don't miss an upload and you can enjoy the excellent content we continue to send your way. I am Five Weeks Beats. Until next time. Okay, so where were on our way to? 